Frequent flyers fly, la 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 la. Frequent flyers bat. What's up? You checking out the Frequent Flyer? Welcome back to the channel. Smash the like button to show your support. If you're new to the channel, I like to extend a warm welcome. Monday morning, y'all. A little noisy out here because they are like cutting the grass and all out here at the park. They're doing their maintenance and everything, but I came out here to fly real quick. I got another one of my creations. <laughs> one of my Frankenstein builds. So check it out, y'all. I dropped my HD Zero system into a different frame. I'm not sure what frame this is, but I'm sure it's from Beta FPV. And this frame is meant to house this Beta FPV canopy here that I'm showing you here on screen now. But I did a modification with my little frame cutting idea. And I actually used this HD Zero canopy because I have tried to get that camera inside the uh, Beta FPV helmet style canopy and it doesn't fit. Uh, the canopy is too narrow to fit it. And so I didn't feel like doing any uh, shaving or anything like that to try to get that thing to fit. So I just did another one of my clip jobs on one of my frames, my regular whoop frames. And I used my HD Zero system. These props here are the gym fan two inch props I think they're 2020 I'm not sure I was going to put the uh, four bladed props on here at first but I decided to go with the single blade well the bi blade uh, for power issues this AC zero system is very demanding on these little 1s packs so I decided to go with the bi blades so yeah I'm good <laughs> One of my maintenance guys right there. Uh, yeah, so um, I had an issue with the motors. So these motors, the original motors I was gonna use on this guy were these green motors there. The brand is AOK, -okay. And you can't really see it because it's very reflective in, uh, in the green and the silver and everything. It just washes out on the camera. You can't really see it. But these are 1103. 15,000 kV so very high kV would have been perfect for this build but one of the motors just would not work I don't know what happened to that motor during time I did have it on another build before maybe I crashed it one time too many or whatnot I'm not sure but anyhow I swapped one of them out with this Ishin 11 I think this is a 11 so I actually have mixed match motors they look really the same size but these are the motors I'm thinking about going with, but I just wanted to do a quick fix. Will this 1102 be able to handle it? It's only 11,500 kV, but in my testing, these 1102 motors seem to be more powerful than these 1103 15,000 kV. So I'm not sure if these are really 15,000 kV because this 11,500 kV is uh, generating more thrust in my experience and testing and all so I'm going to end up putting these 1102 11,500 kVs on there you know I was worried about the wire length but the wire did fit barely let's get this thing up in the air because I'm very curious on how this thing is going to fly okay so I did get my 64 gigabyte memory card to start working in my analog system the monitor so hopefully it'll do it'll still work for this uh hd system too now let's get this guy up in the air turn on the transmitter my kids banged up my transmitter a little too let's try to get this thing sitting in the way where it's level Turn on the HD Zero system. It should start recording right away. That's how I know if it's working or not. Okay, so it's on. It looks like it's recording. Let's try to take off with it. 
check it out. It is flying. I did do a hover test indoors. And so I knew it was going to take off, but let's see a punch out. Whoa, I was going to flip it, <laughs> but I went too close to the tree there. Let's try it. So it seems to be working. Okay, let's try some FPV with it, y'all. We try not to get too crazy with it. Uh-oh. It looks like the monitor went black on me, guys. Let me bring it in. I think maybe it's pulling too much power to the video system. So as soon as I land it, it kind of got power back. Let's see if I take off again. Okay. So it looks like it's working. Let's try some FPV. Maybe I just can't do any punch outs. Any hard punch outs will probably make the screen go out. I guess I need like a, maybe a 800 milliamp hour pack. This is a 520. A little mosquito. Sheesh, a little mosquito bothering me here, guys. <laughs> kind of distracted me. He was flying right towards my face. So I was doing my best to blow him away from me and not paying attention to what the heck I was doing. Almost banged out. <laughs> so what's up in the air? I'm flying, I have video and all. It looks like it's recording. Let's see if I can do a flip without it going out on me. Yep, as long as I don't do any hard punch outs or anything. Looks like I can fly it. It's me. Goodbye. <laughs> See if I can get myself in frame. My head is kind of down looking at this monitor with my phone on the hat. So it's flying nice. I think I'm gonna go with whoa, let me get out of the street <laughs> before I get hit by a car or something. So it's flying nice. I think I'm going to try these motors here. The 11,500 kV motors. And this is 1S, guys. So nice little 1S flyer. Two incher. I'm at 3.5 volts. Afraid to do some punch outs. I don't know what was going on. I did a light punch out there and I didn't lose video. I can still still see what's going on with it. Sounds like I hear a dog walking near me. <laughs> okay, so it looks like it's a success, guys. Thing is working for me. Yeah, I hear a dog. Somebody's walking a dog somewhere. I hear the chain. <laughs> I'm going to bring it back before I lose focus and crash again. I'm trying to worry about a dog behind me. Line of sight. Okay. <laughs> power loop. Not really a power loop, but <laughs> I banged out with it. 
So yeah, guys, I'm thinking about, uh, well, this is pretty much uh, flying how I want it to fly, but I'm thinking about uh, getting rid of this uh, lollipop antenna and going with the little smaller antenna that the dipole antenna that came with it i think that would lighten it up a little more every little gram makes a big difference with one s flying and so looking to reduce weight i did let me unplug this so hopefully it'll save the video and all yep it looked like it saved so um i did chop off the back of this little frame piece here the battery holder in order to save a little weight um, i use this one that i cut off here and it gives a lot more exposure to this little usb port here so i can get to that whenever i need to do some changes or anything and i like the rates the way they are so pretty awesome little flyer i think let's see these motors don't feel hot at all. These motors can handle this uh, with ease. I can go larger on the props, but I'm thinking that would probably be too much power draw for this system here, this little um, HD Zero system. And so I think I'll stick with these props here, the bar blades. Seems like it has adequate punch out and power and all. So you guys can expect to see this guy again when I put the correct motors on it and all. <laughs> Thanks for watching.